these are our course objectives and through this one hour one hour and a half course i want you to first create an interest in process modeling so i want you to understand why is it so important to know about process modeling to be able to simulate certain chemical processes and to feel that interest that you want to learn more about it now of course in one hour one hour and a half you will not become a master but you will be able to say confidently that you know introductory or maybe even basic process modeling that means that you can talk about the physical property environment the simulation environment try to differ what are streams blocks how to manipulate the flow sheet why is it so important to understand the minimum requirements in a simulation and so on so let's go to them individually first i want you to understand how to set up the minimum requirements to get a physical property full that will be the component list and the uh, property method which one to select why and so on general flow sheet concepts what is a flow sheet how to modify it the so-called manipulation of flow sheet add remove units and blocks from the flow sheet and so on i also want you to present or to know the most common unit operations that you will encounter in simulation and in real life so this is a very straightforward approach we're not going to see all of them i'm going to show you the most important ones or relevant from or for the industry also the minimum requirements to set up individually so many times you know that you need at least five uh, variables in order to set up a system and this is true here as well afterwards when you set up everything you will be able to run the simulation and hopefully you run it with no errors and no warnings if there are some errors or warnings you can review them and try to debug them by yourself and i will also say that one of the most important parts once you are not frustrated when creating a process is to analyze the process and typically when you are involved in the process you are in love with the chemical process and you want to see what happens if there is a change on temperature of unit operation one what will happen if we increase pressure of unit operation two what happens with the final product specification if we change the unit operation style size and so on so this is definitely depending on if you have a chemical process that you want to model or you are here just to learn about process simulation but analysis is one of my favorite parts so i would say that of course building the flow sheet is kind of fun but the analysis afterwards for me is the best part ever